Hello, welcome to season two of Pray School. Season two is called Sunday Spaces, Symbols and Faces. It's all about going to Mass, the spaces we use and the people who help. Today's episode is called Gathered Together. We'll be learning about the first part of Mass, Gathering Together. We'll learn that the people are the church and we'll have a special visit from John Berland. We'll visit St. Michael's Parish Mittagong to see the spaces and meet some faces. We'll explore the symbol of water and the baptismal font and share a story about Moses crossing the Red Sea. Hmm, now what else was there? Ah, oh, thanks Black Cockatoo. We're going to make pipe cleaner people. There will be singing and moving and musical instruments. Let's begin with the sign of the cross. Are you ready? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Come and live a life. Life to the fullest. Come and pray. Amen. Come and sing. La, la, la. Come and share a story. Oh, hello. Welcome to Pray School. I'm Tim. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The toys and I, we're just playing with blocks. Do you like to play with blocks? Now the pieces are scattered all over the table. We'll need to gather them up. What's that whale? What does gather mean? Gather means come together from scattered places. It's important to gather up all the blocks because we don't want any to get lost. We need all the pieces for them to work properly. When we gather them up, they are all back together where they belong. You know, people gather too. They come together to celebrate special occasions and remember important times from their lives. Have you ever been to a gathering? I wonder where people might be gathering today. Let's take a look through the eyes of Christ and see. Did you see all of those people gathering? What was your favourite? There was singing and dancing. What's that, Waratah? You liked it when the families were sharing a meal and spending time together. You know what? That reminds me. Our church gathers too. Sunday is the special day when Catholics go to church and gather at Mass. Mass is also called the Eucharist or breaking bread. At Mass, we listen to God's Word. We remember and give thanks to God. We receive Holy Communion. And then we go out to be a light of Christ in the world as we love and serve each other. Did you know there are lots of churches in our diocese? Every Sunday, people gather at these places to celebrate Mass. You know what? Let's take a look at one of these places. 
it's time to see the spaces and meet the faces at St. Michael's Parish in Mittagong. Welcome to St. Michael's Mittagong. Let's take a look at some of the spaces in our church. These doors lead to the narthex. This is the entrance to our church. This is a holy water front. As we enter and leave, we bless ourselves with holy water. This is a processional cross. At the beginning and the end of Mass, the procession follows the cross. It reminds us to follow Jesus wherever we go. These are the church pews. Parishioners gather together and sit in these seats to celebrate the Mass. This is the presiding chair. This is where the priest sits. Hello, I'm Vicky. And I'm Margaret. We are ushers. And our job is to welcome people as they arrive for Mass. We need to say hello with a big smile. Smiling makes people feel happy and welcome. Welcoming people tells them they belong to God's family. As parishioners enter, we give them hymn books so they can join in the singing. And we give them a bulletin so they can keep up to date with the parish news. We help people find a seat if they're unsure where to go. At the end of Mass, we say goodbye and help collect leftover books and bulletins. We are ushers and we are part of the church. Hello, we are the Martinovic family. We are parishioners from St Michael's Church in Minigal. Our job is to come to Mass and celebrate Jesus and give thanks to God. We listen to the Word of God. And we pray. We offer each other the sign of peace. We are parishioners and we are part of the church. Hello, my name is Shan. I'm a sacristan at St Michael's Church in Mittagong. My job is to help look after the church building and very importantly, I help get things ready to celebrate Mass. I unlock the church and open up the doors so people can come in and pray. I open up the liturgical books to the right pages so the readings of the day can be found. I replace the candles when they're used up. I change the cloths and the tapestries to match the colours of the seasons. I get the bread and the wine and all the materials ready for the Eucharist. And I make sure everything is cleaned up and ready to use. I am a sacristan and I am a part of the church. I'm John Burland. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Churches are beautiful buildings, don't you think? They have stained glass windows and statues and lovely furnishings. Often when we talk about church, we think about the buildings, but churches are much more than buildings. In fact, the church is actually the people. It is you, it is me, and all the people around the world who gather in the name of Jesus. We are part of God's family, and together, we are the church. In fact, that reminds me of a song that I wrote for the boys and girls in my class when we were learning about the church, just like you are. And it goes like this. Let me do the chorus slowly first, then I'll do it another time and get you to join in. So it goes like this. The church is the people gathered together in the name of Jesus Christ The church is our family called together Belonging to the Lord All together The church is the people gathered together In the name of Jesus Christ The church is our family called together Belonging to the Lord Oh, I can hear that great singing. So what about this time? We add your beautiful voices and I'll introduce you to my daughter, Natalie, who teaches in a Sydney Catholic school. And Natalie will show you some of the moves that we can uh, use with this particular song. So let's watch Natalie. The 
church is the people gathered together in the name of Jesus Christ. The church is a family called together, belonging to the Lord. Through baptism we are joined to God's family, where we learn to live like Jesus as we listen to God's word. The church is the people gathered together in the name of Jesus Christ. The church is a family called together, belonging to the Lord. We celebrate God's love for us in everything we do. We know the Spirit guides our church and is there for you and me. Church is the people gathered together in the name of Jesus Christ. The church is a family called together, belonging to the Lord. We're called to serve God and the church, to go tell everyone the good news that our Father sent for people everywhere. The church is the people gathered together. In the name of Jesus Christ, the church is a family called together, belonging to the Lord. The church is the people gathered together. In the name of Jesus Christ, the church is a family called together, belonging to the Lord. Belonging to the Lord. Today we're making people. People are the church. You need a pipe cleaner. If you want, you can use a pump. Fold the pipe cleaner in half. Twist the circle for the head. Fold in some arms. Now twist the arms. Now do the other arm. Twist. Twist the two ends to make a body. Leave some space for the legs. If you want, use a pom pom for the head. <laughs> the people are the church. Hello, hello, welcome. Come in and find a seat. Hello, the toys and I are playing churches. Here is Margaret, and here is Vicky. They're saying hello and welcoming people to church. This makes them feel like they belong to the community. And here is the Martinovic family. Let's welcome them together. Hello, my friend, hello. Hello, my friend, hello. Hello, my friend, hello, my friend, hello, my friend, hello. Hello, my friend, hello. Hello, welcome. Come and find a seat. And here is Miguel. Miguel likes to go to the Spanish-speaking mass. Let's welcome Miguel in Spanish. Buenos dias, mis amigas, buenos dias. Buenos dias, mis amigas, buenos dias. Buenos dias, mis amigas, buenos dias, mis amigas, buenos dias, mis amigas, buenos dias. Buenos dias, mis amigas, buenos dias. Hello, Miguel, welcome. Come in and find a seat. Another way we welcome people into the church is through the sacrament of baptism. At baptism, we use the baptismal font. It is filled with holy water. The gift of the Holy Spirit is given to us as water is poured over us. You know, there are lots of stories about water in the Bible. Today, we're going to listen to one of these stories. 
Let's listen to the word of God. In the Bible, there are many stories about water. Today's story comes from the Old Testament. It comes from the book of Exodus. The people of Israel lived in Egypt for many years. Their numbers grew. Pharaoh, the king, made the Israelites his slaves. They lived as slaves for many years. Life as a slave was hard. They prayed to God to save them from slavery in Egypt. God heard the prayers of Israel and remembered the covenant God made with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. God called Moses to go to Pharaoh and give him God's message. Let my people go. Pharaoh would not listen. Many terrible things happened to Pharaoh and his people. But still Pharaoh would not let the Israelites go. One night, Moses told the Israelites to eat a special meal of lamb and unleavened bread. Moses told the people to dress in travel clothes and be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Finally, Pharaoh agreed to let the people of Israel go. Moses gave the signal and all of Israel began the journey out of Egypt. They had to hurry. They wanted to leave Egypt before Pharaoh changed his mind. Pharaoh did change his mind. He sent his mighty army to find the Israelites and bring them back. Soon the people of Israel were trapped between the powerful army of Egypt and the Red Sea. Moses prayed to God. God is more powerful than any army. God separated the sea and made a path for the people of Israel to walk across the sea on dry ground. The Israelites went across the sea where they were safe and free. Then God closed the path so that the army could not follow them. God had saved the people from slavery and had given them freedom. The whole of Israel praised God. Miriam led them in dance and song. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Hello, the toys and I are playing percussion instruments to the song Wade in the Water. It's an African-American spiritual song. It's about Moses leading his people into the water. God troubles the water and opens up the sea so they can all pass through to freedom. Hey, would you like to play along too? Good. You could play a xylophone. You need to play the notes A, G, F and E. You can play these same notes on the keyboard. Or you might like to play a percussion instrument. And if you don't have an instrument, 
you can click your fingers and sing along. Wait in the water, God's gonna trouble the water. Let's play Wade in the Water together. singing with my friends Black Cockatoo and Whale. Do you know what we're doing? We're making a jigsaw. We're putting all the pieces of the puzzle together to make a hole. Can you see all the pieces? So many nice colours and different shapes. Each piece is important and needed because if one piece is missing, the jigsaw puzzle will be incomplete. I wonder if you know what our jigsaw puzzle will be. Wow! Look at this! We've made a big multicoloured circle. All of those pieces have come together to make a lovely picture. What's that, black cockatoo? The big coloured circle reminds you of our world. Yes, it is like our world, where all the different parts of creation fit together like a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. Every plant and tree, every bird and animal, every river and ocean, Every human being is a special part of God's creation. We are all connected as one. We are all connected in the web of life and we are all God's family. As God's family, we come together in a special way when we go to church and celebrate the mass. When we gather at church, it is a bit like all the puzzle pieces are coming together to make a whole. We each bring the gift of who we are and the stories of our lives. We say special words and prayers and do special actions that gather us together and remind us that although we are individuals, we are all gathered together as the one people of God. When we join as one family, 
We become the body of Christ and we give thanks and praise to our God. Just like the puzzle frame is an empty frame before all the pieces form the picture, the church is just a building until the people of God come together as one. If anyone is missing, it is like the body of Christ has a missing part. The web of life is like this too. If something happens to one part of creation, then everyone is affected. What's that whale? Whale tells me that some animals in the world are endangered, including some types of whales. This means that there are not many of them left in the world if these animals were to die out, then that would be a great sadness for our world. The web of life would have some pieces missing and God's creation would be harmed and incomplete. Every time I go to church, when I gather as part of God's family, I like to think about and pray for the endangered parts of God's creation. I think about what I can do to look after all the pieces. I wonder what piece of creation you like to think about. I wonder what you can do to care for all parts of the web of life. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for coming along to Pray School. Maybe this week you would like to make some pipe cleaner people of the church. Or you might like to visit your church and see the spaces and meet some faces. Or perhaps you would like to play some percussion instruments to the song Wade in the Water. Or maybe you would like to organise a special gathering and welcome others along. Until next time, peace be with you. And with your spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Bye. It's time to go, but only for a while. Go in peace, go in love, for you are blessed by God's own smile. And as you go, bless others, help them on your way, for you are good. You are a gift, you are a light of the Holy Spirit, I hope to see you soon at Bray School. Peace be with you everyone.